Here I have a basic 2D scene with some background art assets and a player model. I've showed how to draw assets like these in this video, link is in the description by the way, and there's part in this video about how to set up the sprites and bones, but I'll briefly go over it in this video too. Click on the imported file and go to the sprite editor. We're gonna add bones to animate the character. If you have humanoid character, create the root bone starting from pelvis area going up, then another one for the torso. You could split the body into more than two parts, but the character this body is quite small so two should be enough. To make arms, click on the parent bone and just create new bones with an offset. There should be this transparent line connecting the two bones now. You can do the same for the legs as well. In case of this character, I've also added one for the head, none for the neck since this character doesn't have any, and one for a weapon, in this case the sword. Then go into auto geometry and click generate for all visible with around 20 subdivisions. The last thing to do in this spread editor is to go into weight brush and adjust each and every bone. For instance, I want head, legs and weapon sprites to be only affected by their respective bones. As for the arms and torso, I'll split it into two colors to be able to curve the mesh. To weight paint onto the specific mesh, just double click on it. To use a bone color, click on the bone, onto the character. I have this basic 2D movement script I copied from this side, credit goes to Cassie Savigny, sorry for mispronouncing that. Anyways, I did change the script to accommodate for the use of animations. For that, I added an animator reference variable as well as a function call whenever I'd require a change in the animation, such as during jump using the set trigger function and to check whether a player is moving or not using the set bool function. All the strings are names of the parameters I created in the animator window. Before we can assign and play with transitions, though, we have to make the animations. Open up your animation window. Click on your character parent game object and click create. Starting off with the idle animation, I want the character's body to move up and down to represent breathing. To animate, all you have to do is click the red button and start moving your bones around as you move the timeline playhead. You can move the bone if you click on its root, rotate it if you click on the rest of the body, or if you're in scale tool mode, you can even change the scale and it will directly affect the sprites too. To add more animations, click on the panel containing your animation name and click create new clip. To make a run animation, I want the character to move his arms in the opposite direction as the leg and I also want to move the body up and down while it's walking. For the start of the jump, I want to make the character thinner and taller. It does produce more of a cartoony look however. For the jump itself, make the arms and legs spread apart as the animation continues. For the landing, just make the character wider and smaller and then go back to the thinner and taller. Now you can go to the animator window, click on parameters and and add names that you will later use in the script. Now for the transitions. If you want the entire animation to play, keep has exit time on and set it to 1. This is useful for landing animation. To direct the flow, use the conditions part in the inspector. There are cases where you will, however, not want to wait for the animation to finish, such as in the case of walking and running. The moment the player decided to move, you want to update your animation. For this case, I also recommend changing the transition duration to something smaller, like point one of a second. Anyways, here's how your animation 3 can look like with all the settings I've used. Now you should go back to the script I mentioned earlier and use the functions to tell the animator when to change the animation. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.